to all of you again for the practice of meditation to be continuous. Not only in this retreat, after going home also I want you to practice continuously every day, the daily practice. No? And the last session I came in and looked at all of your face. Many people have very good sitting and also very good concentration, but a few people have been sleepy. <laughs> then I, in my mind, the thought that, oh, if this way, if they can meditate five or six days, sure, if you can continuously practice for five or six days, sure, you always get jhana and deep concentration. No? So, next year, please come and meditate here for 10 days retreat. Sure, you will get jhana. <laughs> how about how? <laughs> Very good. And also, priorities, all the organizers have done very well, very supportive. I could see that everybody in helping different ways, and also all the Vande here, and all the Vashi, very kindly support us. That is very good, and a very nice place, very quiet. This environment is very important for Anapana City. The place needs to be quiet, the mind needs to be quiet, and all the support and everything is perfect. That's why your mind can settle and you can concentrate to the object without problems. You know? And also everybody having very quiet, not in and out, you know. If many people have been moving and disturbing to each other, they also disturb for your concentration and meditation. That's why we have metta to support each other. Even you want to move also. Oh, I try not to move so much. Because of I'm moving too much, Maybe disturb for my beside, my neighbor. There is understanding and meta to each other. That's why the room is without movement. You can see the quiet feeling and the energy also very good. Okay? And also we need to check our mind. My mind is really with the meditation object or not. This afternoon, after listening, you need to check, oh, today I have done good things. When, when, I medita- when I, I will meditate, how long can I concentrate on the breath object? My mind really awareness on the breathing or with other object? And with other object, not easy to get concentration. You are not really control your mind. You don't have enough mindfulness. That's why next time we have to train our mind not to follow any idea and the thought. I just want to be with meditation object. In this way, we train again, again, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, slowly our mind can have ability, our mind, we can control our mind. Once we can control your mind, that concentration is very easy. Once we get the concentration, the mind slowly start to be happy with the breath object. The body become very light and very comfortable. This is the sign of concentration at the beginning. No? Do you be happy with the breath or not just not the sitting? Behind home, you know? <laughs> yeah. Quite lama. Well, there is hanjong yao, okay? Very important, huh? When you concentrate on the Dhamma object, breathing in Dhamma object, on the Dhamma object, you are willingly want to watch the breath, you are happy, you can feel the happy feeling from that looking at the Dhamma object. One second, you are really concentrating on the breath, you have so many good karma when the mind thought of process. So one hour you concentrate on the reading. You have so many million, million of wholesome karma today you have done. No? Next time you can come again for the meditation retreat, the time we will explain how to practice anti jhana, okay? Once you get a jhana, we can practice anti for jhana deep concentration. Based on this concent- deep concentration, we also, the next step, we practice vipassana. Vipassana means inside knowledge, we need to analyze the nature of our body, the nature of our inside. 
That is what we call vipassana. So we need to practice vipassana. Why we need to practice? We want to get right understanding, right view. That is for the wisdom. No? In the, the Nova Epoch, I hope that you can remember, this morning I did explain sila, samadhi, and panya. Morality, concentration, and vipassana inside. For the wisdom, we need to practice vipassana. Penetrating inside of our body, this morning we did explain roughly we need to know 32 power of body truly internal and externally. Then on this 32 power of body, we need to break down by four element meditation. In the end, ultimate reality, you can see many particles are joined together in this every organ. Why we need to break down anti particles and this small piece? If not, we always think that it's my eyes, my ear, my nose, my tongue. Mm -hmm. It is true? Triple three. <laughs> Triple three. Yeah. Do you love your, your eyes? Please answer. Do you love your eyes? <laughs> yeah. How about your hair? <laughs> Yeah, 32 part of body, the head, head, the body, head, the skin, you know, the muscle, everything, organs, different parts, attachment, I love my hair, you know. And so you want to change different color every time, you know? design, different design, because you want to make a beautiful design, spend so much time and money for the beauty, you know, for the hair. <laughs> So you love your hair very much, okay? <laughs> Cannot tell a lie. <laughs> if you don't, who don't like the hair? We are don't like it, sir. So we cut and shave very dirty, we fed it. There's 32 part of body, it repulses in our body, no nice, okay? We don't want cut attachment. That, because we don't want hair, we don't need to spend money. We don't need to spend the time for the hair. <laughs> Save time and energy. <laughs> I agree with my idea. So this evening, who want to shave, please come. <laughs> Free of charge, no need to pay. I will shave for you, okay? <laughs> then I will be very happy. Oh, after my talk, they have right understanding. They can adapt my knowledge. No, they don't want the hair, no? That's good. <laughs> how about how? <laughs> no answer. <laughs> Yeah, now you love, you think that good. Your husband say, oh, your, your hair is so beautiful, so nice color, you know. So tomorrow you try, you pick, you pick food out, the few hair and put on the plate where he want to eat it, the food. So you put beside. He really love your hair or not? And also yourself, you see that. Once removed from your hair, you still like it or not, you know. How about the nose, ear? Want to make it beautiful. No, every time you know you, you like to follow in the the modern day, okay, the latest design. Uh, which one is popular in America? You like to follow American design. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> Even face also like to do surgery for V shape nowadays. No? <laughs> Many places I saw that eh? spend money and dangerous also like to do for beauty. So many Chinese believe. Asian time, no, long time ago, they had to believe that your face need to be round, need muscle, full. Then only you will get money. Understand? No? That is the, our traditional belief. You don't care now. Okay, I just want to be beautiful. So you go and make it. So we we'll follow your sign. You get a beauty by your money will lost. The sign is important also, you know? <laughs> you want money or you want beauty? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is um, that's just for understanding, change of nature nowadays, okay? So even traditional belief also sometimes not used. No? So everybody attachment on their body, their skin, they have to do all the organs also the same attachment. That's why the Buddha encouraged us to practice. Don't think that it is your eyes. Doing polymer anti breakdown particles. When you see what all the particles is arising and passing, in the end you don't see eyeball, you don't see ear, you don't see all the organs. All are arising and passing on the nature of impermanent suffering non-self, movement only. Hmm? 
Our mind also the same. Not only Rupa, the nature of Rupa, and you know that everybody, me and yourself, and everybody, you look at that, everybody is impermanent, suffering, non set of particles. As well, the mind, thought process, we have thought process. After your eyes contact with external object, we have eyes consciousness, ear consciousness. After that, the mind, thought process is arising. Sometimes, you, after contact, your intention is good. Your contemplating is good, then you make a wholesome mind. Kusla, wholesome mind. Sometimes your intention is not good, you don't feel good, you make a kusla, and wholesome mind. We also need to understand the nature of our mind also, how the mind moves very fast, come and go, rising and passing away. The nature of the mind also impermanent, suffering, nonsense. Who understands about the mind and the matter, the nature of the mind and body? Then only the person really understand the truth of the suffering, the wisdom arise. No? Because of that wisdom, you know that in our body impermanence, there is not mine, not my eyes, not my body. Can that go about understanding of who I am, my belong to me? All kinds of wrong understanding can release. Right understanding, there is not mine, not belong to me, not myself. There's a right understanding. No? Can you accept it? We can tell you that there is not your husband, there is not, not your wife, not your children. There is Rupa Kalapa only. Can you accept it or not? Mm -hmm. my mom. <laughs> Can you accept or cannot accept? <laughs> For a year. <laughs> Now, although you understand, can't let go in the mind, stating that there is my wife belong to me, my husband belong to me, cannot go with anybody. Uh, there is only for me, myself, for my group, my family. You know? This way, that thinking and understanding in the Buddha explained that there is wrong understanding because of attachment and who I am, who she is. There is wrong view and wrong understanding. And also not easy to let go. You think they all are belong to me. Other people ask you, oh, please offer your clothes, very beautiful. Other donation, easier for you to let go. You can turn out easily. When people ask you, please offer your wife, your husband, your children, not easy. Okay, ma. <laughs> Cannot tell lie, okay? <laughs> Okay, body sata have to dana for the body sata, no? Must give it away. Even your life, your organs. If I ask you, if you want to be a body sata, have to give it away. Cannot say after die, you know? <laughs> you love, you don't want to separate. Who love your lover, who you love, you always want to be together. Cannot stay together, you will be suffering. Separation of beloved, there is suffering, the Buddha said. You have to associate with enemy, there is also suffering. No? There is a Buddha explain independent origination. Do it, ma? Yeah, but your love also in permanence, not for permanence. No? <laughs> Who you love, you love his body and the mind, okay? They would say, okay, share. <laughs> okay. okay, think carefully, okay? When she died or he died, are you okay with that body or not after a few days of dying? No? Can you love continuously or not that yeah. body? <laughs> so now no, you say that. So if you really love, you have to love continuously, even his body in that after the changing and anti skeleton. No? After six, and then you can, when you go back, you can ask your husband or your wife, after I die, let me stay one month at home, my dead body at home. Are they okay or not? They will tell you yes or no. no? <laughs> <laughs> then you can see, before you die, when you are sick, very seriously sick, they will tell you, oh, we don't want you to go away. We want to be together with you. Please don't go away. So you believe that what your family say, okay? Oh, they love me. They really want me to be with them. So I don't want to go anywhere. After I die, I want to be with my family. Many people had that problem. So because you had attachment in the family before you die the last moment, after you die, you become the ghost 
or hungry ghost or you know, that's when happen at home. So when you become the ghost, you can see the whole family, but the whole family cannot see you, cannot see you, okay? So you look at them from the first day and the seventh day at home. The first day, they will cry with you, beside you. They will cry, 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 upset, you know? Three or four days later, you from your body, swollen, change the color, and also the smell, the smell, smelly is come out, then, then you could feel the smell from his body or the heart body. Where they were crying, beside you or a bit distant? Yeah, slowly a bit distant, okay. <laughs> then slowly, after seven days, eight days, the smell is very strong. They don't want to come beside you, no? <laughs> yeah, so you can try, do you really, really love me or not? Only one week, okay? So midnight, what you need to do, make it nice. Tong, 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 or walk, okay? And then they can hear. So when they hear for your noise, what they will feel? Oh, my husband is now at home. Are they happy? Are they welcoming you or not? They know you are the ghost at home. And you, from you, they know you are at home. Are they really happy or not happy with you? No? <laughs> pa, ha, scared slowly. You, you will feel scared. Even husband and the wife, but you cannot stay at the same bed alone. You are starting to get scared while that kind of sound arise, you know. Right, ma? <laughs> ha. Then the next day, what they will do? They quickly will go to the temple and invite Bhante, please come to my house and doing chanting. Now he became a ghost at home. We, the, actually, you are scared, but you didn't want to tell that. You were there. oh, all the children are scared. So let him go away, you know. <laughs> you ask Bhante and Supo to chant for him to go away. <laughs> yeah. Many people invite me also to do chanting and <laughs> ask him to go away. <laughs> I feel sorry for the ghost, you know. <laughs> That's why I remind all of you not to attach too much before you die, not to attach too much on the other body. No, after die, all oh, have to let go. Then you know, oh, they don't want me to stay at home. They want me to go away. Then you don't have place to stay. Then you will get suffer, suffering. No? Then you know that, slowly understand that, oh, what they love me last time, they told me not really true. There is not the true love, <laughs> then but too late for you no, to change. Sorry to say about that, okay? Not because I, I want you to break your family. I want you to understand the true, the nature of our body and attachment. No? That's why the Buddha also encouraged that everybody need to practice meditation want to make it good karma in this lifetime. If you have good karma and the practice, then only you will go. If, if you want to go good life, you can go. That karma will support you to get good life, good revert. If you want to get arahant, also will support you to practice and the arahant. Who practice and the arahant and wants to return, they, they have right understanding very strongly. They also feel that rebirth, life is suffering. They don't want to go many river and around around suffering life. Even don't want to come back to the Madawons. You come back to the Madawons, also suffering. Do you remember this life, not past life, okay? This life, how you live in your Madawons when you are young, no? Chitama, come on. There is really no good. Must remember, okay? Then only you have gratitude to your mother. Know how she had to care about you, no? You need concentration mind to look at it day by day and day how you live in the mother's. We need to see the picture and the mind. Same from the first day you came to the mother's and slowly grow. Three weeks later, from the small ball, we can eyes, ear, nose, turn, body, and happen. No? Once, after a few months, your body starts to get clearly appear in the mother's. You can see yourself. You have to squeak. You know, you cannot move. You cannot straighten your leg and your hand. Always need to squeak in a very narrow place to stay there. No? Then when you leave it there, on top of your head, stomach, your mother, Stomach. You are under or has stomach, the head. You can see lower part. You can see all the intestine. You have it sitting on top of the large intestine. No? 
Staying for how many months? Cannot remember. <laughs> someone ten months, someone nine months, eight months. Different people had different condition. Anyway, wherever you stay, the, the smell is good or not good in the mountains, no? Every part of the body inside, no good smell. You have been staying inside for that for many, many months, many days. No? The mother really took care of you day by day. Whatever he ate the food, the nutrient to transfer to your body. That's why we can say the Buddha having a spring, the rebirth. Rebirth means who start to come to the mountains from since the first day, the whole many days, okay? And then nine months, ten months, that is what we call rebirth. Treatment. That is the word that is when there is suffering. There is not a happy feeling, you know, suffering things, suffering place to live for a long time. That's when the Buddha is when who have the rebirth, there is the suffering. Do you want to come back again? After you die, do you want to go again in the place? Hmm? Someone don't want, someone stay want. <laughs> who have attachment for the body, for the human, oh, nice life, I want to be a human, I want to be a lady, I want to be a man. That understanding, thinking, a wrong view, that's Buddha is right. Okay? For the kinds of life, you know that you need good karma, so that's why supporting karma, you will do that, you will do dana, and in this lifetime, now present, okay? You need good karma. So you need to do dana or keep the precept or practice of meditation. That good karma will support you if you want to come back to the human. If you don't have good karma, a lot of bad karma, you cannot come back to the even human. And the worst is heaven. You cannot go worse than human being. No? You need a lot of good karma. That's when people understand what the cause and effect. When you want to get the effect, it's good. You need the cause, need to do good things and good karma. Many people know, many Buddhists know about that. That's why we are training to get good karma. And also, not only that, you really scared about the human or the diva or the kind of river, the one, the person who practice, we personal, until you can get until enlightened, until you get an arahant. Who have become arahant mind, they will never come back again, never suffer, no need to be suffer again and again, no need to get rebirth. And also the nature of our life, also you can see, since you came up from the mother wounds, you have suffered. You need to associate with external, the heart, cold, the kind of feeling, a very suffering for you the first day. No? As soon as you come up from the mother wounds, you have been crying or smiling and happy, loving, the feeling that, you know? Do you remember or not? <laughs> Cannot remember. Except Buddha, many people have been crying, 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 scared. That is the sign of life. Started the first moment already crying. Start by crying. The last day, rebirth, aging, you know, and that. That is the nature of our life. Who have the river, the person will get aging and will get sick one day, will die. There is the nature no one can avoid. So before you die, you will have that problem just now with the expander, dependent origination. Now I have been explaining. No? So you don't want to associate with disliked people. You don't want to strip spread from your family. That is when you know that nearly die moment, I have to separate. There is suffering pain. A lot of pain will happen. That is what we call the nature of our dependent origination. That's why we need to practice vipassana again for that dependent origination also. And in the end, you know that the right understanding, all are impermanence. Okay, rebirth also impermanence. Which kind of life you want? Every kind of life also will come and go. One day will disappear. Understand or not? So now, present is very important for your future. You need to choose, you know? understand? You want to be an arahant, totally don't want suffering anymore, or still want to come back again and again, where suffering continuously. And if you don't want to care your mind and karma, still you have to go down and suffer again and again in the lower beings also. You know? If you want the kind of suffering, you will do continuously bad things, break the precept. Who are scared? don't want to go to the hell being, don't want to get suffering life, the person start to realize that, oh, I don't want to suffer there. I want, at least I want to get good life. 
So the kind of people we need to take care of our mind and our practice to be good and to get a lot of good karma in the present. Now, if you don't take care, no time for you to get collect good karma too late. The last moment before you die, only you want to make a good karma too late. You cannot meditate, you cannot get many good things that will be dangerous. No? So now, please mindfully practice in your life to be good, to train. Okay? Can you accept it or not? <laughs> but answering is very soft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is important for our life, okay? We really need to take care, we really need to protect. So that's why every day from the morning until evening, we need to take care, you need to get by the mindfulness to your mind. You know? Trying to do more metta every day, send metta, loving kindness to yourself, to others. Not to get so many desire, greed. Too much desire come. You're trying to contemplate in this, say, oh, one day I have to die. When I die, I have to let go of my body. I have to let go of my family. I have to let go of whatever I have, all the properties. You cannot bring with you. So that is why I have to attach too much. You know? That's kind of understanding, need to contemplate and cut attachment. Once you can let go of slowly, slowly the attachment, in your mind, you're trying to check yourself. Less desire. You have not much thing what you want, no much. Then you can feel the mind more stable, more peaceful. So you want this when there's so many things you want, the mind not peaceful. And also you need to work hard and you need to get more money for that desire. Anger also dangerous, angry. No? Also need to control. If you practice a lot of metta, loving kindness, the person not easy to get angry mind. If not, you don't know how to take care of your mind. The mind is free. Easily we get angry whatever you contact. No? So you can check every day in the past. As soon as you wake up early in the morning, what kinds of mind is mostly happen to you? Wholesome, meta, or easily get angry and not happy with everybody? Please answer. Your turn to answer now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pretend, okay? You wake up with meta or with anger? <laughs> Session or oh, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I'm happy to hear about that, you know. Okay, everybody trying to wake up with metta. This is good for your karma and your body also. We get peaceful. Who wake up with anger, no good for your karma and no good for your body also. Wow. So, for this one day of retreat, I want all of you to practice meditation every day. Everybody, I want all of you to wake up with metta. No? That is our present for you. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you very much to everybody again. Thanks. And also to the Fashi and all the organizer and all the volunteer and all the donor and all the meditator. I wish all of you to be happy and healthy and you can attend to Nibbana in this lifetime. Sound, sound, sound.